two shots at these stinking pigs uh, right down there in that little opening let's see i'll get out there and i'll show you right there on the end of my finger i took a first shot out and the whole group of them coming through here i didn't get a video or anything i was so excited i mean i should have like i said i don't even know if i'll even put this video out there i feel like such a failure right now anyway um i'm still up in the tree and so that was about eight o'clock when they came through and what happened is they come down the road here just a few minutes ago it is about 8 35 they come down the road right down here and they come they come across as you can tell only have a, a limited area to shoot from so i had to shoot right here at the end of my finger is right in that clearing uh so I'm gonna climb down. I mean, I've taken two shots. I probably scared every animal off in the county. And so I'm gonna pack up, put my stuff, and then we'll go over there and see. I'm gonna check both places, see if there, I find any blood. If not, I'm going to the house. This is where they, where they ran. They ran into the woods there. Wait a minute. I think I see blood. I wonder if I hit that dude. That looks like blood to me. Let's go check that out. Well, I'll be. Look at there. Look at the blood right there. There. Very thick blood. Not a lot, but very thick blood. Right there, right there. I think we might... We might take a few minutes and track this, try to track this pig. We are deeper in the woods. He is, the blood's not running out. The blood's getting more pronounced. I think I might find this pig. We'll see. We're gonna keep going through here until he gets so thick I can't get through it. Or if he hits water, if he hits water and he gets in water, I'll lose the trail. But I definitely hit that pig. I hit that pig, and that was probably 70 yards out of my uh, out of my tree saddle. So let's see what happens. I was up in the tree saddle. A sound of probably 20 pigs. I mean, there were several grown uh, bigger ones. There was a bunch of piglets. They come right up underneath my tree. I got to get a better scope for this gun, or at least one that's non, the lenses are non-reflective. Because the way I was positioned, the glare from the sun right behind me, I couldn't see through the scope. So I took it, they, they weren't, they weren't eight yards from the bottom of my tree. So I took a, I took a shot and I missed. I showed y'all here that a few minutes ago, the, the track. So I come across the power line. I'm probably 50, 60 yards from the power line. I walk in there and I look down and I see a little fleck of blood. You all have seen this uh, progression here. Here's uh, the last bit of blood. And look what we see right over there. Look what we have right over there. Nice little gal. Yep, nice little gal. She, uh, she's dead. Man, success, success, getting it done. In Texas, Texas team is on fire. Look at that blood coming out. Texas team is on fire. Look at a hole. Look at that. That's the entrance. That's the entrance wound. Because she she was running away. Yeah, a little bitty entrance wound. I'm gonna flip her over here in a, a second. Let me put my gun over on the side here. Oh man. Look like she came up here. Looks like she was staggering all around. There's blood droplets all over the place on this ground. Looks like she was staggering around. And uh, she turned back over. She lost a lot of blood. Mm, come on, girl. Oh, son. Holy cow. Look at the entrance, the exit wound. That's what she was bleeding out of. 
And so she's bleeding out. And so, man, I thought I missed her. Like I said, and I am so excited. I am so excited. I need to figure out how I can get this thing out of here because the truth is, I'd like to save as much as me as possible. And I'm really not that far from the, from the, uh, from the road. So, I me, mean, uh, let me see if I can get a drag out of here. But anyway, uh, Texas team does it again. Okay, here we go. We got her pulled out close to the road down there. This is the tree I was up in. I was up, uh, let's see if you can see it, right there where my tip of my finger is. And then you saw a little clearing right there. That's where I took a shot at the first pig. I showed to the track, so I missed it. This is this is where they were coming across. To. They were coming across. They were way down there, and they came across down there, went across the brush into the woods. That's about 78 yards. And I was up in this tree, and I had to shoot through these branches. And uh, she went in way down there. Uh, and so I've got her. I've got her pulled out there. Uh, Jacob is is coming. He's gonna bring the game cart. And a, and, a, and a water just to enjoy it enjoy life and I'm thankful to the Lord get her pulled out and hopefully get the game cart get her back down in here and get to, get her I think I'm gonna pull her up to where my my truck is and then see if I can and then kind of cut her up there break Jacobs will bring some bags and stuff I don't want to bring all of it to the to uh, to the house, but I'd like to get as much meat as I could. Anyway, the Lord blessed. I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what happened. And you can say what you want to. Uh, but I'm telling you, man, every time I come hunting, it just proves to me that there's a God in heaven. I took that first shot at that pig and I missed, and I felt so stupid. I felt like an utter failure, you know? Of course, hunting, hunting, hunting's like that. But I'm like, Lord, would you give me a second chance, please? And I'm telling you, 30 minutes later, they stepped out way down there. God gave me that second chance, and God bless today. <laughs> hey, YouTube, this is Pawpaw with Infinite Hunt Outdoors. We are getting it done in Texas, buddy, killing these stinking pigs. I uh, went out this morning, public land, uh, climbed a tree. Uh, you can see if you saw the first part of the video, kind of had some disappointment at the beginning. And then I got a second chance. And uh, this old gal, she was about six or seven others, pretty good size. They were probably about, I would say about 80 yards away from the tree. And I crossed the power line and took a shot and went in here. There's no, looks like an ice pick on this side, but on the other side, there's a hole that big. And it just blew her out. I, uh, I went over just to check, found blood. Of course, you saw the, the my progression of the rest of the videos. Anyway, uh, that's what we're doing in Texas. We're going to haul this girl back, and uh, she's not that big. Jacob's had her helping me. I appreciate it. It's uh, uh, my daughter, Jacob's wife's birthday, Emily. Happy birthday, Em. And uh, so we're going to get her pulled back, and I'm going to get some meat off of her. Uh, Infinite Hunt Outdoors, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we're trying to do some things, just regular guys hunting and trying to give you some pointers and tips and maybe some enjoyment, some entertainment. Hey, uh, make sure and check us up as we get close to hunting season. Talk to you later.